State House today an impassioned plea to better protect foster children after what happened to Harmony Montgomery. The couple who adopted Harmony's brother are calling on lawmakers to overhaul the system. WBZ's Chris Tanaka joins us in studio. And Chris, these parents believe that Harmony could have been saved. They do, Lisa. Blair Miller and Jonathan Bobbitt Miller say their adopted son, Jameson, asks about Harmony often. And they say that has been true since Jameson and Harmony were split up. Now, Jameson was placed up for adoption, and Harmony was put in the custody of her father. Well, she was reported missing two years after she was last seen alive and is now presumed dead. Today, before lawmakers, Jameson's parents said they wanted to adopt Harmony too, but testified that the system failed Harmony in many ways, including not helping the two siblings stay in touch. Had there been something in place to support that relationship between Jameson and Harmony, there likely could have been communication between us and Harmony's father. There could have been FaceTime calls, maybe. There could have been in-person visits. There could have been opportunities to see how Harmony was doing, where she was living, hear her maybe describe what school was like. Of course, none of this was her reality. We could have seen that Harmony was surrounded by trouble. Harmony didn't have her voice. Yeah, there's also a push to change a Massachusetts law that lets children decide where they want to stay instead of having an advocate with the child uh, who can speak to what's best. Now, Harmony's father has been charged with her murder. He has pleaded not guilty. David.